this video, I'm going to work out an individual limit. It's going to be a limit that would be found in a Calc 1 class. Straightforward, um, direct substitution turns out to be an indeterminate form, and then we can just factor. All right, so taking a look here, you should always do that direct substitution first just to see if it works. If I plug 2 in that numerator, uh, 2 squared um, minus 4 is going to give me a 0. And then if I plug 2 in the bottom, 2 to the third power minus 8 is going to give me a 0. So I am going to get that indeterminate form. All right, which then tells me then I need to continue and do more work to be able to find out what this is. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this limit, all right, both the numerator and denominator factors. So that top factors into an x plus a 2 and then an x minus a 2. All right, the bottom you need to recognize as being the difference of two cubes, all right, which would be an x minus 2, all right, and then an x squared plus a 2x, and then plus a 4. All right, from here, then you can see that your x minus 2 and x minus 2 crosses out, and that's going to leave you then with the opportunity to, again, do a direct substitution. So at this point, I'm going to do a direct substitution. My limit notation is going to go away. I'm going to have a 2 plus 2 in my numerator. In the denominator, plugging in that 2, I'm going to have a 4 plus a 4 plus a 4, which is going to give me a straight 4 over 12. Reduced to lowest terms is going to give me a 1 third. So definitely just a straightforward limit in a Calc 1 class. Uh, you try that uh, direct substitution there at the very beginning, and you see you get the indeterminate form, which then says, okay, can you algebraically manipulate this by factoring some way, allowing something to cross out, and then it'll having that direct substitution then work and result in an answer for you. So definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.